day 22 of inktober and today's prompt is chef what is chef chef is someone who cooks for us but in few different parts of the world uh, chefs are called in different other names like a cook or a, a kitchen employer anything i have heard that i'm not sure but at least in my part of the world in english chef definitely means a person who cooks who's uh, in charge of cooking so it's a typical drawing that i have done of a chef wearing the uniform of a chef in a particular restaurant generally uh, in a restaurant people watch chefs in a uh, this kind of a uniform and having this hat of the chef at first i thought of sketching just the hat and uh, that would uh, definitely mean a chef just like i did it for armor but if you have not watched the armor sketch then i would suggest you go back and watch it once again uh, coming back to this drawing uh, here is kind of a asian chef uh, I just uh, love the kind of Philippines even Chinese and Japanese food mostly I love noodles that's why I thought of drawing a Asian chef so while starting the drawing I kept the main thing at the end because uh, I was skeptic about drawing the chef's hat that is the most important thing as i said that is what i wanted to intended to do at first just the hat but i went on drawing the whole portrait so in this drawing i try to keep it simple as much as possible i generally like portraits to be a bit realistic i have lots of videos of portrait drawing how to draw portraits for even beginners to Uh, professionals how you need to draw i have uh, even shown some drawings which uh, were commissioned um, i have got good reviews for them so i generally try to keep portraits uh, in much of a realistic style but here i tried to keep it in a kind of uh, animated illustration type because uh, i just wanted to show as like from the very beginning of october i have tried to show that uh, inktober is for anybody you should be able to draw on inktober even if you have not sketched for uh, 10 12 years then also you should be able to try inktober because uh, that is the most important thing drawing and that is the main motto of inktober to sketch every day that is the thing so once you start drawing for inktober you have to go till 31st and uh, that is what is challenging you know i have already reached this uh, day 22nd so i feel confident enough to finish this and it has on- only been possible just because of your support each and every one of you have been uh, so so very much supportive i cannot uh, put it up in words you guys have been uh, immense i say this on every video and i would keep saying this till the last video that i put up on my channel so thank you guys thanks for supporting me and uh, your support helps me draw every day this is why i started youtube and this is why i started inktober for that matter and uh, I think I am successful as of now so keep supporting me keep sharing my work that uh, helps me reach more people please hit the like button if you have liked this sketch and if you have suggestions for me suggestions of what I need to draw after this or uh, some kind of a topic that you think I should draw in a certain way or even after inktober what I should draw you can just put me in suggestions as in the comment box as far as uh, other social media is concerned i have got links to my instagram and facebook page in the description section you can just follow me there i am available 
for DMs. Generally, it's difficult to reply on YouTube comments, complete things. If you have questions on something, I have been answering a lot of people now throughout this month of uh, September and October. So you guys can feel free to ping me and uh, ask questions if you have any or give me suggestions on something. Then I would really, really love to know. Coming back to this drawing, once I finished the outlines, I started using the ink mostly with water. I did not try to use too much of uh, ink this time again because uh, I just wanted the portrait to look uh, as much good attractive as it is possible so i thought too much amount of ink might uh, like dampen this uh, trial because it's it's definitely difficult to just use uh, the ink of a fountain pen and uh, make a portrait out of it so you do need to use water in fact uh, i would suggest using water i have seen other artists using water whenever they are doing ink drawings because this is not acrylic so you might uh, face issues with it even with acrylics there are many artists who uh, do not use acrylics directly on the canvas but this being a very simple paper i wanted to not make it too harsh for the drawing and the paper so that's why I have used uh, water and that gave me a good reddish tone to this drawing. It, it helped. I think uh, it came out really well and I was quite happy with how the final outcome came. So this uh, drawing has been uh, pretty real time. So I think if you guys are interested in drawing this kind of a portrait, you should go ahead and uh, try this one in particular if you are a beginner then I think this will be an ideal portrait drawing and uh, you can show it um, on your Instagram and tag me. I would love to know how you sketched it and uh, how that finally came out. So just tag me and uh, put it on Instagram for sure. There are many people around the world who would love to see new artists coming in. And uh, if you put your work on the internet, I always say that it stays forever that's why you need to be on the internet if you are drawing then you need to be on the internet there is no point not being on the internet nowadays so put it on instagram and tag me and uh, if you are on facebook then you can ping me on uh, facebook too you can tag me my facebook page there in your post so i would love to see even on Facebook if uh, you do not have an Instagram. Let me know about this drawing as I said and uh, let me know how you feel about the whole of Inktober. If you are still not sure about what materials I'm using then I have a full length video on that. I started Inktober before that I made this video of what materials are but uh, just for a brief note these materials are very very inexpensive in fact they can be found in any stationery shop i would say because the brush that you see is a very cheap one and uh, the ink that i have used was of a simple uh, pen that is uh, you can find it anywhere that is not something of a uh, very high quality or something so they are pretty inexpensive and if I can find it around my sh place during this lockdown time then you definitely can. So just all you need to start drawing is a paper and a pen. That's it. That is my motto. That is how I wanted Inktober to be. And this is the drawing for the 22nd of Inktober. Hope you liked the video as I said. Subscribe to my channel if you have not and keep sharing these videos. See you in the next one, that is tomorrow. Till then, stay safe, stay healthy. Bye.